The India Meteorological Department IMD has issued a forecast for isolated heavy rainfall in several states in northeast India, including Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Mizoram, and Tripura, until July 10th. Other regions such as Sub Himalayan West Bengal, Sikkim, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, East Rajasthan and South Interior Karnataka are also expected to experience heavy rains. 114 wild animals have died due to drowning in Kajuranga National Park while more than 95 have been rescued by the forest officials from water as 40% of the area of the UNESCO World Heritage Site is still underwater. Of the 233 forest games, 66 are still under flood water. Hawk deers have taken the maximum heat with 95 of them getting drowned. The overall flood situation in Assam remained grim on Saturday, July 6, with the deluge claiming six more lives, including four children over the past 24 hours and affecting nearly 24 lakh people across 29 districts of the state. While two persons, including a child, perished in the flood waters in Charaidio, another man drowned in Tinsukia and a child each died of drowning in Golpara, Morigao and Sonitpur districts respectively. With these, the toll in floods this year reached 58 as per the Assam State Disaster Management Authority flood bulletin. As many as 23,96,648 people in 3,535 villages across 29 districts Dinsukia, Dibruga, Sipsaga, Charaidio, Jorhat, Majuli, Golaghat, Dhemaji, Lakhimpu, Sonitpu, Biswanath, Kasar, Hailakandi, Karimganj, Nogao, Hojai, Karbianglong, Marigao, Kamrup, Metropolitan Kamrup, Darang, Nalbari, Barbeta, Bongaigao, Chirang, Golpara, Kobrajha, South Salmara and Dubri are still reeling under the flood waters, it said. Dubri is the worst hit district with 7,97,918 people being affected, followed by Kassar with 1,75,231. Darang with 1,63,218, Barbeta, Golaghat, Nalbari and South Salmara respectively. The Science and Technology Department of the Government of Sikkim have found significant scientific findings during a two-week scientific expedition to the East Rathong Glacier conducted from June 22 to July 4. This expedition forms part of the department's ongoing study on glacier dynamics and the assessment of potential glacial lake outburst flood risk. At least seven bodies have been recovered from the debris of a five-story building that collapsed in Surat, Gujarat, with fears lingering for several more trapped individuals. The incident occurred on Saturday, leading to a frantic rescue effort involving teams from the SDRF and NDRF. Chief Fire Officer of Surat, Basant Parik confirmed the grim toll, stating, The search operation continued throughout the night. Seven dead bodies have been recovered. Rescue operations remain ongoing as authorities work tirelessly to locate any survivors. Leader of opposition in the Lok Sabha Rahul Gandhi will visit Rayad Heat Manipur on July 8. This will be Gandhi's third visit to the northeastern state since the ethnic clashes broke out between the Maithe and Kuki communities in May last year. During a press conference in Imphal earlier in the day, Manipur Congress Chief K. Meghachandra announced that Rahul Gandhi would travel from Delhi to Silchar by flight and then head to the Jitibam district where fresh violence occurred on June 6. Gandhi will visit some relief camps in the district. He will then return to Silchar Airport and from there take a flight to Imphal. Meghachandra said after landing in Imphal, he will head to Churachanpur district to interact with people living in the relief camps, he added. From Churachanpur, the Congress leader is scheduled to go to Moirang in Bisnupur district by road and visit some relief camps. He will then return to Delhi. 
Thongam Biswajit, Manipur Minister for Forest and Environment on Saturday announced that the government is targeting to plant 4 crore commercially viable saplings by September 2024 to enhance the green cover across the state. The minister was speaking as chief guest at the 75th Ban Mahotsav celebration commemorated with a large-scale tree plantation drive at Lamdeng Makhalekai in Imfa on Saturday. Speaking on the occasion, the minister also stated that severe flooding in Manipur is a result of the widespread deforestation, encroachment on the river banks and mass poppy plantation. He also said that 420 square kilometer area gets deforested annually and if this goes on for 10 to 15 years, there will be an imbalance of nature. The minister continued that the main impact of the flood in Imphal is either due to overflow of seepage or a breach of the river bank. The program was conducted by the forest department under the theme Plant for Mother. England reached the semi-finals of Euro 2024 on Saturday after beating Switzerland 5-3 on penalties following a 1-1 draw in the last eight. Trent Alexander-Arnold scored the decisive sport kick to send England into a last four clash with the Netherlands in Dortmund on Wednesday. All five players scored for England but Manuel Akanji was the only one to miss for Switzerland.